What's up everyone, this is Flavory Mule, and today we're going to be starting No Man's Sky. Now, you might be wondering why I'm starting a new game when I haven't finished my playthrough of Wildlands or Ace Combat, and there's some reasons for that. The fact of the matter is, first of all, I am starting a new job, which means my time to commit to creating content is <laughs> getting cut pretty fiercely. So... Especially with regards to Wildlands. Wildlands was definitely the most labor-intensive of all the content I was producing because I was doing an entire content per each, or an entire province per each episode, which is quite a bit of time that I have to take to record everything and then even more time that I have to take to edit everything together. It was taking the longest out of all of the stuff that I was making and I just am not going to have that kind of time. And as far as Ace Combat goes, the reason I'm not playing that now is because my flight stick actually no longer works. Between playing Ace Combat for YouTube, uh, playing some Ace Combat on my own outside of YouTube, and playing some Elite Dangerous on my own outside of YouTube, uh, between all that and my flight stick being all plastic construction, it just, it's not working anymore. It sucks, frankly, that it's not working anymore. I'm pretty disappointed about that. But what can you do? So, with time constraints being what they are and hardware limitations now being what they are, I decided, okay, we're just going to have to keep things mighty casual around here now. Really nothing I can do about that except what I am doing about it. So, that's that. But, I got No Man's Sky not that long ago, and you can see I haven't put like a crazy amount of time into it, but I do enjoy it. So I thought this would be a nice, good, casual game for me to work on uh, while I'm you know, actually earning money and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new game just for this playthrough. And, you know, since I have to keep things casual, I think I'm gonna go with the chill experience and just stick to normal mode. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Main goal is just to get to, you know, get through the main story missions, I guess, and see this through to the end uh probably won't do too much exploring outside of the main galaxy for this playthrough but whatever either way let's just enjoy ourselves so it looks like we're on an irradiated planet to start All right, so we got kind of lucky. Looks like we spawned right next to a cave, which is pretty good. That's gonna help as far as dealing with <laughs> my, yeah. So normally I would be kind of panicking to start because you start with next to no hazard protection left and you immediately need to start looking for some sodium to help deal with that which I will need to find some sodium, but at least here in this cave, as you can see, my hazard protection at the bottom left has already recharged. We've also got some subterranean relics that we've already found, so those will help with some early cash. <clears throat> in fact, I saw a couple more over here. Now let's just hope these don't... Okay, it doesn't look like any sentinels are gonna spawn for me taking those, so that's good. Cool. All right, first order of business is we're gonna need some ferrite dust. 
and we're gonna need a lot of it. It's not the only thing we're gonna need. We're definitely gonna, oh, okay, can't mind that. We're gonna want some carbon, like what we're gonna get from this plant here. Uh, but ferrite dust is gonna let us fix our scanner, which is going to make the process of finding sodium when we leave this cave much easier. As well as finding other things uh, like oxygen and hydrogen. But I'm going to probably be spending a lot of time in this cave to start. One, because it's safe to do so. There shouldn't be any real threats down here, and I can get plenty of the resources that I'm going to need to start out. But also, these caves tend to be a pretty good source for things like, yeah, like cobalt right here, which is going to help with my early on money woes. Uh, even more so than the subterranean relics, really. So, I'll probably spend some time in this cave just collecting my resources, and then when all is said and done, we can move on from here. But, I'm gonna cut out a lot of this just because I don't think you guys just wanna watch me mining stuff for an hour. So that cave ended up not being as big as I thought it would be, but I still got a pretty decent amount of resources from it to start, which I'm perfectly fine with. So let's go ahead and get this scanner repaired. And now we can start looking around for some sodium, which is right over here. That's convenient. Let's go, oh, there's a bunch of dehydrogen here. Let's just collect all this real quick as well, because I'm gonna want that. Because until I get something that'll let my ship just recharge its launch fuel, I'm gonna have a need for this. I suppose I'd have a need for it anyway, because there are certain things that I will need. Uh, the hydrogen or the hydrogen jelly for crafting purposes. There we go. And uh, let's give us another quick scan here. Uh, there's more to hydrogen right there that I'll go and collect. There's oxygen, sodium. And yeah, we'll go collect this and then grab the oxygen. Oh, well, no, can't mind that. That's okay. And there's a deuteri or deuterium, deuterium, what is this? Deuterium, okay. Uh, yoink this oxygen, because I don't really have any other oxygen. And then, you know what, we'll just go ahead and... Uh, no, not life support, hazard protection. We'll just go ahead and do this now. That way we can get the quest moving along. Wait for the quest to update, so I know which general direction I have to go in. That direction, okay. Where's this deuterium? Okay. And away we go! I'll grab this to hydrogen as well. But my ship is right downhill from here, so we're almost there. And usually, yep, looks like there's some oxygen plants down there, so that'll take care of my oxygen problems for the time being. Let's head on down. Okay. Scenario, iteration number 23118766 1T, deleted. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 16 emptied. Cause, sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer. Analysis, fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. Let's broadcast that. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. Investigate the crash ship. Yep, 
iteration number, I'm not reading that out. Atlas connection, intermittent, launch thrusters, offline, pulse engine, offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Let's read the log. Log number 4925A, unavailable, substituting data. Exosuit connected. Suggestion, pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Let's repair the ship systems. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. Yep, and we got a bunch of parts that we're gonna have to fix up. So, we've got some hydrogen jelly that we can use for that. I'm gonna need pure ferrite, which means I need to refine some ferrite dust. That's fine. Then I need a metal plate and a hermetic seal. So, it should give me, yep, yeah, okay, so, metal plate, and uh, I don't actually need to be in the ship to do this, that's fine, uh, next, Ship repair partially complete. Board the starship and consult ship diagnostics. Iteration, blah blah blah, functional. Starship critically damaged, vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Well, I need to know where I can find one, please and thank you. Here inside the beacon's housing, as well as its distress broadcast unit, it contains a planetary chart. Let's go ahead and make use of this. Uh -huh. Alright, that's where I'm heading. Oh, hello. We got some more, uh, more goodies here. Hold up. And I'll go ahead and take this cobalt as well. Why not? Oh, that's not good. I need to hurry up and get over here then. Get inside. There we go. That's better. Take that. It doesn't appear to have given me anything. Well, that sucks. Entry follows. No one making this recording in case. Leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged, can't find ship. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Also, sorry about this cursor moving on its own and my guy moving on his own at times. The joystick on my controller is starting to go bad as well which I can't complain too much about that realistically because I've had this gamepad uh, for as long as I've had this PlayStation. So you figure I've gotten a solid over three years of use out of it without any problems so far. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. And there's a hermetic seal. So, I need to wait for this storm to pass so I can safely make my way back to my ship. Wow. That's convenient. Technology 
There we go. Now I can just start passively earning money by scanning crap. Alrighty. Go ahead and pop that in. Uh-huh. Alright, this is where I need a portable refiner. Can you... Okay, metal plate. What else? Oh, okay, I've got the 30 oxygen I need. Just put in some carbon. And I don't need much pure ferrite, so... Oh, it's at a one-to-one -one ratio. Then let me go ahead and uh, just do it this way. Because I don't have a lot of inventory space to be playing with right now, so... Let's keep things nice and simple. Yeah? Cool. Alright, let's get off this rock. Alright, so... Yep, this was the planet we started on. It looks like there's two others in this system. What's this one? A flourishing planet. That's a pretty nice find right here in our starting system. What about this one over here? Oh. A bountiful planet. Wow! That's a hell of a start. So I guess my question is, what color scheme do I want to go with? I'm, I'm kind of digging the thought of red soil with blue water. I think that's what that is. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta test the, test the different flight systems. Yep, 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 and let's aim for right about there. Incoming transmission, source number 4925B. Please identify yourself, I'm blank. You are not alone. Follow the broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Where to? Right there. Right to this planet. Oh, those are trees. Okay. Looks like there's plants of some kind over there that I'm going to want to go and grab. But for starters, let's see what this is all about. Oh, and there are sentinels on this planet. Although they are isolated, so they shouldn't be too big of an issue. And we've got three knowledge stones. Wow. Three knowledge stones all in one spot. That's a heck of a find. stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. I see two large aliens locked in combat. Eventually, one triumphs, leaving their victim to bleed to death. With the last of their strength, the vanquished alien gestures towards me. The name Viking floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. Also, let's scan some of the plant life around here and whatnot while we're at it. We got two more memory stones. Interloper and Gra. Let's grab this oxygen. These are, nope, these are just for show. Fine. 
The sparking wires of the machine generate a signal, tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decoding. 16, 16, 16. Entry number 4925C. No fuel in blank. Failed to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to blank, underground, blank, deployed base computer. As well as my log entry, the signal may contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. Cool. Alright, so first of all... Let's get this installed. I need the hydrogen jelly and carbon nanotubes. I think I just need the one. Oh, uh, I need one more. Oh, he's just scanning. Okay. Um, so I need copper. Couple of cut oh hey, actually that thing looks fucking cool. Yeah, look at this guy. Bro, you're pretty cool. I like the animals here. Yeah, I love the look of the red soil. Especially with all these trees around. Looks really cool. I can't wait to see, like, the coastline to compare the red soil to the ocean water. Ew, hello. Floating crystals. Good to know that they spawn here. Although I can't harvest them yet. In any case, let's get this copper. Alright, so we got copper. We got it turned into... Wow, this is a really pretty world. We got it turned into the chromatic metal that we're gonna need for the sake of the base computer. However, I want, I want to find a really ideal place to put my base, because this is this is probably gonna be my forever home. This is a really nice looking world, and I think, oh, let me take care of that. I think. What we'll do is get back to the ship, and then from there, I want to go to the coastline, and I want to compare what the water looks like compared to the rest of this. Because if I like the look of it, I will probably set up my base along the coast. Oh, now what did I say? Red soil and blue waters. That is so pretty. You know, ah, oh, this could very well be the place. Oh, hey, you're another form of hazardous. I need to be wary of. And there's a knowledge stone here. Cool. Come on. There we go. Uh-huh. Wow. Very pretty. And we got a nice view of the rings from here as well. Heck yeah. Now the question is, am I gonna wanna set up... Hmm. I got a debate on how I'm gonna wanna build my base. What kind of design am I gonna go for? Do I want something that's more elevated so I can get a nice view? Do I want something that's closer down to the water? What are you? You're something I've already scanned, so it doesn't matter. Also, what do we have down? Armored clams. Okay. Gosh. Wow. 
Well, in any case, I think that's going to be it for now. I need to mull over this for a bit, and frankly, this just seems like a good stopping point. Next time, we will be starting to construct the base, or at least, you know, the very basic version of it for the sake of the quest. Uh, should be fun. Should be real fun. I'm, I'm excited for this. God, this is pretty. I can't stop looking at this. All right. Anyways, thank you you all for watching i hope you have enjoyed what you've seen i hope you're looking forward to more because there's going to be plenty more coming release schedule is going to be kind of relaxed but you know that's whatever it's not much i can really do about that given how hectic my schedule is right now outside of youtube but thank you all for watching and as always i will see you all next time